Dude, what are we doing here? Good morning! It's like six o'clock in the morning. It's our natural wake-up call. I can't get online here. It's our environmental wake-up call. Need to get a pizza. Experience nature. No cell phone. Feel the earth. Feel the earth. But I am starving. Be the wind. Have some nuts. I love it out here. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like the taste of genetically modified snack food. Those are organic. <laughs> You need some environmental awareness, my friend. Appreciate our planet while we still have one. Uh, life on this planet is doing fine. Oh, really? 2,500 leading scientists say global warming is real. So Canada may become livable. Climate change caused by humans. Yeah. Humans working together Making around things worse. the world for a better future. We need to return to our ancient wisdom. Yeah, totally. The good old days. When life expectancy was 33 and infant mortality was at 80%. That was so natural when four out of five kids died before the age of five and the leading cause of death among women was childbirth. I'd say things have gotten a lot better. Actually, there's been steady improvement since life crawled out of the ocean. Civilization is not the problem, brother. It's the solution. Really? I suppose that's why there's a staggering loss of biodiversity all over the world. Or is it an unprecedented opportunity for the remaining species? Besides, you may have noticed there's cloning now. We can always make more. No, you can't make more indigenous cultures and people who lost a mystical connection with their environment. Yeah, like headhunters, cannibals, slave traders, cultures like the Aztecs and Mayans organized around human sacrifice. Dude, primitive cultures had the highest murder rates in human history. They decimated their environment. Civilization good. Tribal warfare bad. Well. Overpopulation may just put an end to our civilization. I doubt it. Fertility rates are falling all over the Fresh world. Fresh water tables are dropping. Sea levels are rising. We're losing coastal land mass. And gaining oceanfront real estate. Even out here, you know, I mean, we're breathing innumerable carcinogens right now. Our cities and freeways are choked with pathogens. Smog is a natural sunscreen that protects us from the harmful UV rays of the sun. <laughs> no, it's not. There's no telling what skin cancer rates would be what? without air pollution. Wetlands vanishing along with mosquitoes and malaria and West Nile virus. <coughs> Gesundheit. See? Because of climate change, allergy season is longer and worse than ever. That's because pollen-bearing plants good. are thriving. They perfume the world. You're just allergic to beauty. Or maybe it's from all the carbon dioxide burned from fossil fuels. Carbon dioxide, you say that like it's poison. You know what plants call carbon dioxide? Food! Do you like oxygen? Well, plants need carbon dioxide to make it. It's a little something called photosynthesis. But I guess you'd rather starve a forest than drive a Hummer. That choice doesn't even make sense. There's an environmental crisis, you dumbhead. Have you noticed a doubling in category four and five storms? Electrical storms and tsunamis and hurricanes? Life began when a lightning bolt struck some protoplasmic soup. You wanna make a conscious omelet? You gotta break some atmospheric eggs. So I guess I should be happy that glaciers and polar ice caps are melting. Into clean drinking water, there's an ozone hole the size of a continent. Which affords incredible views of the aurora borealis. The oceans have become violent. Tsunamis, hurricanes. And surfing has never been more exciting. Cataclysmic weather. Spurring advances in climatology. Listen, bottom line, more than a million species could be extinct by Dude, the year 2050. Life on Earth has made it through five mass extinctions already and things keep getting better. Why won't people just admit that? Extinctions generate more species, more highly evolved species. No. It's the brush fire of evolution. No, they're getting worse. We're seeing species vanishing faster than any mass extinction before, including the ones where meteors hit our planet, like when they kill the dinosaurs. Sixth extinction, bring it. Oh, it's already been brought in. Numbers don't lie. First extinction, 25% of species families lost. Second extinction, 19% of species families lost. Third extinction, 54% of species families lost, which by the way equaled 90% of all life on the planet. Sad. Fourth extinction, 23% of all species families lost. Fifth extinction, 17% of all species families lost, including the dinosaurs. 
relics. At worst, we're looking at maybe losing half of all species in the sixth extinction. You're just miffed because humans are probably one of them. <laughs> You're anthropocentric. No, I'm life-centric. Wrong. Yeah, I'm miffed, but it's not because of numbers. It's about the loss of consciousness. Don't you see that if humans go extinct, we will lose the greatest interior depth of awareness. The evolution of consciousness that's taken all this time. Self-reflexive awareness. It's incredibly rare. You could lose a million species of insects and have no noticeable loss in awareness. Say that to a honeybee. <sighs> if humans vanish, there is a rare depth of consciousness that's going to be lost. It's impossible to recover. Well, where are all these extinctions then, dude? There's only been 784 documented since the year 1500. The dodo? A flightless bird? I'm supposed to be bummed out about that? Oh no, what are we going to lose next? A fish that can't swim? <sighs> Oxymorons should go extinct. Um, do you understand it takes 10 million years for a planet to recover from a mass extinction. Exactly! Only 10 million years! If you imagine the 4.6 billion year history of this planet as a 24 hour cycle, 10 million years is like 3 minutes. That's nothing! To bounce back from a global extinction? Humans won't make it through that 10 million years. Looking at you, that's a relief. Humans may not make it. That's our problem, okay? We got a little too drunk at this earth party. You know, we stole some stuff and grabbed a waitress's butt. So we're not invited to the next one. Scratch us off the list. Well, I want to be on the list. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a break from nature and get back to the internet. Well, it sort of defeats the purpose to surf the net. How do you know all this stuff anyway? I'm reading it on Wikipedia right now. Well, that's cheating. You should check out Discovery Channel's new series, The Planet. This is awesome. It's not knowledge if it's externally located in a There's device. There's really beautiful pictures of Earth on this website. There's nature shots in here that are cool. It's nice because it's not so close in your face and it's two-dimensional, which makes it digestible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I ordered a pizza. Why do I bother? You guys deliver to uh, to the mountain. Hope a mountain lion eats you today. Yeah, I'm the I'm up by the big rock. They throw some beer in there. Mm -hmm.